Hi, I'm standing here at the farm of Don Fortunato, the cacao farmer whose name we have put on Fortunato number four chocolate. Um, this is Fortunato number four, the mother tree. This tree genetically is the most pure expression of national cacao that has been found uh, since detailed genetic, genetic testing has existed. Uh, when we began to contemplate doing genetic testing of cacao trees uh, here in the zone, uh, the president of the Cacao Growers Association, Noe, uh, mentioned to me that he knew of a particular tree that was very interesting to him. Noe uh, is so knowledgeable about cacao, he's almost a savant in identifying uh, trees of special interest. And he, I've asked him many times, what is it that he saw about this tree? And he can give me some sort of details, but I always imagine that he can sort of see an aura radiating from trees. And really the truth is, if you, once you've worked with the Pure National Cacao that we work with, there's definitely an aura, a sort of a power emanating from this tree. Um, we, he showed me this tree, and we actually came and took leaf samples from it and sent it to the USDA uh, ARS lab in Beltsville, Maryland. And uh, through the facilities of that lab, we tested the genetics, and this tree turned out to be absolutely identical to what is considered the reference um, for pure national cacao, something that disappeared uh, nearly 100 years ago from Ecuador and was thought to be extinct until it was found here. And it's now uh, believed that it may actually be native to this area here. Uh, so this is Fortunato number four, and, and although it may not appear much different than any other cacao tree around here. It has a, a special blood pumping through its veins that makes it incredibly valuable.